hello there in this video i am going to continue where i left in the last video so in the last video i was refactoring the code and in this video i am going to add all the data which is coming from api to our app so currently we don't have date of birth and some other fields so let's create a file for user dob which will store the user date of birth so the class name is going to be user dob okay so the user dob contains two things date which is having a string which is basically a timestamp so date time and date and after that uh, we are having age of type int so let's create final int age so now we will create a constructor and it will take these data age as well as date that's it so now we have user dob so as we have created a user dob class so let's add it in the user model so user dob so let's add it in constructor also so as i will add it here it will start complaining wherever this is being used so this is being used here so it is complaining that we don't have dob so let's create a dob and pass the dob and the dob is not defined so let's create a object of dob so user dob and it is asking for two things the age uh, which is coming from the e of dob of age and the date which is coming from e which is a single user after that we will go inside the dob and the date that's it so looks good awesome okay moving forward uh, we will go to the location but before uh, going to the location uh, let's fix one of the bug which i just made so for the dob if you remember uh, this is date uh, date time the format is date and time but if you come to the api you will find that i did not like parse this so usually you need to parse to these data types if there is a primary data type like string int double bool it will automatically do it by itself but if you have date or something like this you need to parse it so date time dot parse and date okay awesome so now it has been parsed to date and time moving forward now i am going to do the same for the location so class user location location is a complex field which is having street city state country and some other fields so let's start with the string city it is simple after that string state and string country okay so now we have all the simple field so now there is a street which is complex there is one more thing which is a postal code the post code and it is going to be a string you can although you see here uh, a int but i will use a string mm -hmm. you will know this in some time moving forward now we have three fields which are complex which means we need to create a class for those things so one of that is coordinates okay so for that we need to create a class so i will create a class called mm -hmm. user or location coordinate more this is more appropriate location coordinate okay so that's it so we will use this class here okay so moving forward and there is time zone in some time i will add like a data member to these classes but for now let's like just create the class so user and time zone okay let's create another class okay so now we have two classes moving forward we have street so we need to create the street also so we don't have a street let's create a street here and this is going to be location street you can name the class anything whatever you like but uh, location street is good for now okay the street is having two things number and name okay so number is going to be int so i will create final int number okay and after that name name is going to be a string okay let's create the constructor for the location street which is going to be user basically location street this dot name this dot number and this is going to be required so let's take the required fix the typo awesome so now this class is done moving forward now i'm going to create the next class which is 
uh, coordinate so it is having latitude and longitude so let's come here final string and uh, let's copy this although you see that this value r is in double but it is in the form of a string so i am using string instead of double or something because i am not getting value in the form of double data type okay so let's make a constructor pass these values and let's make these things as required awesome so this is also done moving forward now we have time zone so for the time zone you find offset awesome offset let's make it final because we are not going to change these things so there is a description and let's create the constructor now and the constructor is going to take required this dot description required this dot offset awesome okay so now we have all these things ready moving forward now we are going to create the constructor of user location because we have already created all three classes so this dot and we can do city and this dot coordinate this dot country and we can do this dot for all the data members this dot street this dot time zone okay now we need to add required for all of these so let's come here and let's do the multi line and that's it let's add a comma trailing comma looks awesome so now we have this user location so user location is not being used at any places this would be used somewhere and that is in the user class so let's create final user location and location okay we need to come to this constructor and add it and import the user location awesome okay now this one is complaining that the location does not exist so let's add the location and then let's create a variable for location and this is going to be user location and this is going to be a very big code and lengthy but it's fine because in real world scenario you are going to get more and more data okay so moving forward uh, what we will do we will do e of and location of city that's it so for the coordinate it's complex data let's leave this for country it's simple for postal code it's also simple and we will apply two string to this one because if you remember the postal code was in the int so we need to convert that into a string because we want to store post code in the form of a string because some post code are is in a string and some are is in uh, integer and a string is superset it can store both the things okay moving forward now we have three things which is coordinate street and time zone so for the coordinate uh, let's come here and create coordinate and location coordinate okay let's use this and let's take the coordinate and latitude okay so if you understand the json probably this is very simple for you because i'm not doing anything big thing i'm doing something but not very big thing so it's just json parsing getting the data from the json and making a object out of it okay so let's take this location and let's come to the street and let's ask for the name name okay moving forward something is missing so location street is also having the number so take this one and add the number okay time zone let's take this final time zone location street okay this one is very big location time zone coordinate so let's fix it location time zone not coordinate location time zone location time zone let's and there is some issue yeah constructor let's save it close it yeah so now this one is having two things uh, offset and description so let's fix it how we will give the value so to give the value we will take e of location of time zone 
and time zone let's copy this one paste it yeah and let's take this from here and paste it yeah so that's it now we have all the data so now we are going to use it in the application so for that we need to go to the ui code and let's go to the ui code and now we are having a user object so from the user object i can say anything location dot uh, let's say state i get the name of a state if i say country i get the country name if i say something else like postcode you see i got the postcode some of the postcode are in integer and some are in the string so that's why i use the string for the postcode so thank you see you in the